Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be going over a rock, paper, scissors app built by uh, somebody on a Discord that I'm a part of. And they had a couple questions and I wanted to do a video call but I had to go to the store, they had to leave, you know, life happens. Um, this is a part of the Odin project from the screenshot that they shared. And I'm a big fan of rock, paper, scissors. It's, um, you know, it's a, it's a basic enough app that you know, you're not going to get too lost in it, but it's difficult enough that you will struggle and you'll learn some stuff about JavaScript in the process. And that's the point of building projects. And that's why I'm so like pro project building. Um, so first off, if, uh, if the user is watching and seeing this, um, this is a great job at a first attempt at this. This is 90% done. Um, it's a console only app, um, but it's still, it's 90% done. Uh, I think the only thing they, they missed or they couldn't figure out was the task was to um, display like four or five games in a row. So, um, you know, so we'll just do game here, see what happens. All right, cool. So, I mean, it works. This is amazing. I, If you're watching, um, it, I don't think that you are feeling bad, but if you do feel bad, this is a great job. This is a great first attempt. There's nothing wrong with this. This is amazing. Um, so, but let's, so let's go through and let's see how, um, if we could have video chatted, how I would have helped solve this. So, all right. So we're getting one, which is cool. So, I mean, it's working and it's changing. Perfect. Um, but the task was to console like four or five games in a row. We'll just, we'll just say four for simplicity's sake. So, okay, cool. Um, and so this was the the first attempt that they did, which, uh, I mean, in reality, this is a great next step. Like, if, if one of them returns one time, I mean, logically, four of them should return four times. So this is a great next step. Um, problem with that is, you still only get one. So uh, what, what people, um, what you need to know about functions is, returning something um, exits the the function in almost all cases. There's obviously some weird out about ones. We're not going to get into that. But like in most cases, returns escape or exit the function. Now, um, this is important because, you know, we have function computer play. Um, in this function, this part that I've highlighted is only known by this function. So when you put return, it's actually moving it out and so like in this instance up here we're saying hey call computer play so it's going oh sweet so it's doing this math and then it's returning it and it's setting it to computer sec selection um, if you don't return it if you were to just do this computer selection is going to be nothing because it has no idea about this outside of the function so um, that's why returning is important but at the same time returning then escapes the function and escapes um, loops a lot of times. There Again, there's always some exceptions to almost every role in JavaScript, but we're not going to go too deep into that. For this instance right now, returning escapes the function and it also exits or escapes like the loop or the if else, if else. So if like this thing is met, this return hits, it doesn't even bother checking these other two. Um, so again, so this was the, this was the uh, option the user selected and I think this is, a great, this is a great logical next step. Okay, cool. So you ask for help and somebody says, hey man, as soon as you return, the function escapes. Oh crap, okay, so, all right. Well then uh, they, they shared the task and we saw that they needed to return things like in this area, but they wanted him to console for different rounds. So, okay, no big deal. We just misread something. We didn't. That's fine. And that's, I mean, I've been developing for a little under three years. I misread things, misinterpret things all the time. So that is no biggie. All right. Well, what am I doing? Find my Vim key bindings. All right. So we got that. All right. Cool. All right. So now, okay. Everything looks pretty good. Um, hmm. so we got we'll call game it'll run play rounds four times and we should get four, four results 
Oh wow, okay. Um, so it's the same. Yeah, I mean, we only have three things. That's not, I mean, not likely, but definitely could happen. Hmm. Okay, so at this point, um, I'm gonna go on a limb and say this is not, uh, this, this won't happen that many times. So we, we obviously have a, a bug in our code. So uh, this is where understanding how variables and functions play in code. So the, uh, the user creating this, they have an index.html file, they're bringing in an app.js file, and the app.js file has all this stuff in it. So when that um, when that index file loads, the app just the app.js file gets pulled in and all this code runs. What happens is as soon as this code runs, these um, the heck? these variables at the top, they're set and they will never change unless you refresh the page. So let's um, let's do a little example right here. So we'll do. Obviously, this will. Uh, oh. Ugh. Obviously, this will be the same because it's just an array, and that's fine. So that's fine. And then um, let's create this function. So we'll do. Oh, I'm sorry, computer play, computer p play. Turn move. I don't know what to do. I really should just copy and paste this, but I like typing. So what a random what times it died move dot length, which love the move dot length call right there. That's great. And uh oh, what did I miss? Oh crap. So I did uh I did curly braces instead of brackets. Okay, perfect. So so we have that. So now when the page loads, the first thing that happens is all these things happen and, and player selection is a string, so that won't ever change. But this computer selection is the one that's kind of messing us up. So do computer selection equals computer play. What? Okay, oh, whatever. Let's we'll say computer, we'll just say A or S. <laughs> Um, so when, when the index page loads, JavaScript runs, and this runs, and it's done. That's just that one time. So we can do s and you'll see, first off, s was an awful name to give it, but s will always be scissors because it ran when the page loaded, and it will never run again until we refresh the page. So let's let's check this out. So we'll do okay, so it's scissors right here. So let's this let's that's pretending we refresh the index.html page and then we gotta do we gotta do this stuff again. And then let's do we'll do S again. Just so you guys can see. And we'll do computer play. And now you'll see it's rack. And again, it's always going to be rack until we refresh the page. So that's the problem that we're experiencing here is when the page loads, we're setting this value and each time this gets called, it's just, it's not reevaluating. Um, and I guess I should have also said, so a way to show that too is we can just do computer play and you'll see rack, rack, oh, scissors, rack, rack, scissors paper. So each time a function runs, it will reevaluate re everything inside and give you what you expect. But when you're setting up a variable like this, it'll happen one time and one time only unless you're refreshing the page. And um, let me remind you, there are so many got you's in JavaScript that most of the stuff that I'm saying is, is pretty accurate, but um, there, are got, there are little side things and little gotchas for almost everything in here, but we're not going to go over those, and those are things you learn as you continue to grow. So, um, all right, cool. So now, now we know the problem. Um, we're setting the computer selection once, and it's never, never changing. So we're going to get the same result every single time. So, okay. Well, how do we do this? Let's think about it. Let me sip a drink here. 
All right. Well, I like I like to work backwards. So, all right. So we're calling game. Bam, come in here. We get four of them. All right. We call play round, and we come in here, and we're getting we're we're giving it both of these. Okay, cool. Well, I mean that makes sense. So we're we're passing in player selection and computer selection. All right. Well, I mean, I think the next logical step is we just put them in here, and then when we run game, those will be reevaluated, and then we can pass them in, and they'll be new, right? All right. Let's check it out. Mm. Well, shoot. Okay. Um, well, we solve the same problem, so let's think about this. Where... What is going... Oh, well, okay. It's, it's the same problem, right? We're calling game only once. So again, we're setting this computer play... Or, sorry, computer selection one time, and we're passing that same value in four different times. Okay, cool. Well, let's do... Well, let's go one more up, right? So, if we're not in game, so every time we call play around, it's going to run and it's going to do new things, right? So that makes sense. Let's let's just do it in here. Alright, sounds good. So now, what will happen is, this will run, it'll come in here, it'll grab... Well, it'll, that'll always be rock, but it'll grab a new selection and then we'll check it. What do we see here? Okay, cool. We got an error. That's fine. Um, what do I have an error? Oh, it's because we're passing in these values, but we don't actually have access to them yet. Okay, that's fine. So let's see. Um, so what's happening is um, we're creating these variables in this play round, but we're not returning them. So nobody outside of of uh, why does this keep happening? I don't think I've ever had this happen in Jasmine. Yeah, oh, okay. I'm not a fan of this at all. What is going on here? Okay. Um, so we're, we're creating party selection and we're creating or player selection and computer selection, and they're only known about in this play around function. So out here we can't we can't do this. So okay, cool, um, sweet. So let's just uh, let's just pass this around, which is good. Okay. All right, let's see. All right, what do we get here? All right, so we get another error. Okay, so what do we do wrong this time? Well, we're not passing in the variables anymore, but we come up here with. Oh, we're still telling the function it should expect them, but we're not passing anymore, so we need to get rid of those too. All right. So what do we have here? Oh shoot! Okay, well, well, one, two, one. Two. Okay, well, is that the same? Okay. Okay, so we we definitely seem to be getting um, different values here. So it looks like we solved this problem. So um, I think the big takeaways for this are: when a JavaScript file loads. It loads once, and for something that is evaluated right away, which uh, functions, um, I don't know if this is the right terminology, they're not evaluated, they are processed, and they're available, but they're not actually run. Whereas a variable is run. So by taking these two guys right here, from outside of here where they were just running once, and moving them into a function that will run every single time it's called, we now get a new computer play variable. And we can even have a little more fun with it, and we can just do um, player play. I feel like a rapper. Player play own. And, okay, so that's cool. And then from here, we can, <clears throat> we can do, uh, we can do player play, and now we get two random things. And let's see, what we got here? you tied undefined undefined. So, um, so the if, if the if else if else if statements are good. Um, there are a couple missing, which is fine, and I'll let the I'll let the user figure that part out. Um, but I'm hoping this was valuable. 
Uh, these are these are all relatively basic JavaScript things, but as a beginner and as you're learning, these are things you just don't know. These are things you need to experience, and that's why I'm very, very pro um, building projects. So um, I hope this was helpful. Um, if you guys have any other questions, leave in the comment. Um, come find me on um, you know any of the Discords are, I'm on, or you know. Yeah, just leave a comment, and, and I'm more than happy to, to keep doing things like this because I think this is really, really important. I think this is a good part of the area where people will um, choose to stick with it or choose to leave because, you know, this person did 90% of the work, and that last 10% was super painful, and, I mean, that's tough for a lot of people, but that's the job. So, um, again, I, I really like this. I would love to see this user fix this part where you know maybe there's some ties um, outside of just checking rock. Well, I, I, I take that back. That's that's my mistake. This person only checked rock because the player was always going to be rock. Um, but maybe maybe to make it a little more dynamic, um, you know, that would have been cool. But um, great job. Um, I hope this is helpful, and I will see you guys on the next video.